My name is Levina Kato. I'm reporting from the state of Maine. This July, a group of nine Tanzanian journalists visited Maine on U.S. Tanzania Journalism Exchange Project. While in Maine, they spoke to professors on various issues related to social inequality, race, and ethnicity. One of them is Professor Maureen Smith, the director of Indian American at the University of Maine. Professor Smith recalls her experience and how it feels living among majority whites. Assistant Professor of Sociology Department, Marion Spiller, discussed the transition from physical racism to structural racism related to cultural, social, and economic aspects. Reporting from Augusta, I'm Levina Kato, Main TV. Welcome, our viewers. My name is Halfani Saidi. In July this year, nine Tanzanian journalists visited Maine University in the northeast of the USA. While in Maine, they spoke to three professors, Maureen Spiler, Maria Sondanes, and Professor Smith, on the various issues related to social inequality, race, and ethnicity. They also visited various media outlets in Bango and Lewiston City. <coughs> in the Lewiston, they met and spoke with Dr. Said Mahmoud, who is the chair of the African Immigrant Association, and he pointed out on the education. The journalist also met with Governor Baldacci, who expressed his fear on the obesity. This July, nine Tanzanian journalists came to Maine for a three weeks long journalism program. The program set up with the exchange program is coordinated by the Department of Communication and Journalism of the University of Maine and sponsored by U.S. Agents for International Development, USAID. During the program, the journalists who stayed at Patch Hall have a chance to share with American colleagues skills and experience on good governance and democracy, press freedom, court reporting, HIV and AIDS reporting, blogging and video editing. The team also learned on American culture and staying with a few selected host families in Olono and Bango. Either journalists visit Lewiston town where Somali migrants are living. Later on, Tanzanian journalist met Governor John Barsid of Maine at Augusta. Reporting from Augusta, I'm Samson Kamalamo Changamot. Over to Robert and let him sort of take the lead to kind of give you an overview of what HIV and AIDS looks like um, in May. Oh, yeah, help you. These, you can take these with you. Um, and, yeah. I'm back to Maine and I've been somewhere in these environs for 30 years uh, as a state house reporter for two or three over here. We can be informal. <laughs> yes, go ahead. Fire away. Reporting you from Augusta, I am Simon Adolf Kivamo. Hello, I'm Joyce Magotti reporting from Maine. In July 2009, a group of Tanzanian journalists came to America and visited at Lewiston City where Somalia immigrants live. While in Lewiston, the group met the chairman and, fo and the founder of African Immigrant Association, Dr. Said Mahmoud Said, who discussed different issues related with Somalis. Said expressed interest to go back to Somalia and rebuild their nation, but worried the new generation has no interest to go back. Well, the Somalis came here until 2001, and we have only one, one only one Somalis. They were Togolans, they were Ghanaians, they were, you know, and, and Kenyan, and I think he, uh, a Kenyan have an American, yeah, the second. An American boyfriend said, do you think about it? I'll say, oh, I don't know, so what about if you go back to Somalia? Maybe in, because she would like to study medicine, and then after that, when she go back to Somalia, are you still will? Before visiting the Somalis community, the group visited Lewiston Sun Journal and led by Tom Lonzo, the edit editorial page editor, also gave a long history of the Somalis. The group also met the city mayor, Mr. Laurent Gilbert, who addressed issues related with his administration and how he was facing various challenges. Reporting from Augusta in Maine State, I'm Joyce Magot, you made television.
Nine Tanzanian journalists enjoyed three weeks stay in Maine, but not without cultural shocks. It started with food. Almost everything tasted different. There was no tea at the cafeteria. They decided to visit McDonald, but no difference. Maine cook in America. The journalists were surprised that Americans love dogs. The journalists ended their trip by visiting Governor Balach to bid him farewell in Augusta, the capital city of Maine. Reporting from Augusta, I'm Monica Luondo. Nine journalists from Tanzania came at the University of Maine, among other things, to explore on how the First Amendment helps their folks in the U.S. to work comfortably. The reporters toured the various print and electronic media organizations in Bangor and in Winston to learn administrative and technical operations and get feelings from their fellow journalists and their administrators over that long established constitutional position. At the Augusta, Governor John Balsit assured the visiting journalists that his office has always been supportive to media people by providing them with all important information for public consumption. However, speaking to guest reporters, veteran journalist Mal Lowry, who works for Capital News Services, says the media in the U.S. is not absolutely free due to existence of several exemptions to enjoyment of the First Amendment. On the contrary, Tony Ronzio, the editorial page editor of the Sun Journal, says the degree of freedom of expression the U.S. journalists enjoy is reasonably promising despite a few restrictions to accessing some information. Nine Tanzanian journalists who are on excellent program at the main university, residing in Edith Patch Hall, visited different areas including the state's capital, Augusta. They interviewed three professors at the University of Maine about multicultural aspects in U.S. society. Dr. Marion Spiller, who is a professor of sociology, said in spite of having a black president, the gap between the haves and have-nots is unlikely to be reduced because Obama is a rich first and a black second. Professor Mar Maria Sandwise spoke of the experience of being a Peruvian among Americans and of how and how he, she treasures her culture. Professor Maureen Smith said authorities were listening more to groups with money and ignored the minorities. The journalists went to, Ma to Maine State House and interviewed Governor Baldacci, who insisted that he will protect children, assuring them quality education and we and we'll use well stimulus package for economy. Reporting from Augusta, I'm Delson Gore.